what is going on guys welcome back to the channel for the past couple weeks i would say have been pretty hectic you know well i feel like my life is pretty hectic most of the time but i feel like the past couple weeks have been a little bit more crazy than usual if you are new to the channel and you don't know the lore i got fired like a month and a half no two months two months ago i got fired and you know for like a month and a half i was scrambling you know i was broke as hell still broke as hell but i was really fucked like i had no money when i first got to miami i obviously needed a job to live because i you know i had to eat survive all of those things so i had to get a job and the job that I got at the time, first and only job that I worked here in Miami, this job here has got to have been the worst job I have ever worked in my life. I don't know how to put this into words. It's not really like a word to like describe it, but it, like everybody there are technically managers, but you're not titled managers. They title you like random names like JQ and JQ Expert and I don't even know, like Lieutenant Staff One, like it's stupid, stupid ass names. So they can kind of say, well, you're not manager because it doesn't say manager but we're gonna give you manager ass roles. Like, I, at one point they wanted me to make schedules. I was doing stock delivery. I had to train, had to stock report. If something broke in the store, I had to put it in and make sure that the, the team got there and I communicated to make sure it got fit. I'm doing all of this. I'm pretty much the CEO of the company at this point, but I'm getting bottom sub pay. I don't know how I woke up at 4 a.m. every single day, on time, kinda. I would be like five, six minutes late, but like, bro, it's fucking 4 a.m. And the fact that they would get mad at me, Todd, you, you're, you're five minutes late. Bro, it's 4.05 in the morning. Calm down. Like, we don't open for another hour. Like, that type of shit. <sighs> Let me tell you, man. It, is, it feels like a breath of fresh air. Because I... It, it, finally, it finally feels like I'm working an actual, normal job. It, it's so, like, we were literally, like, worker bots, worker ants. We had to make sure we had to... Bro, we had to take tests. We had to, like, do exams and study and do this and that. And every other week, there was a new exam. Proctor said... Crazy ass shit for a fucking juice shot. Like, what are we, what are we doing here? I'm sending all prayers to anybody that still works there. I know it's tough. You know, my only advice would be just to get out. You know, you don't have to work. You don't have to work there. You don't have to deal with that bullshit. You know, bro. Like, it, bro, okay, going back to the audience, guys. Literally, there were people up there spending their hard on what? <laughs> spending their hard earned money on Ubers for the company. So let's say. The con let's say wherever you let's say you work at Walmart. Imagine if Walmart expected you to go on your phone, open up Uber, you know, and look up some random bread, like bread company, and you have to pay for that, and they're not gonna reimburse you. You're doing that for the out of your, out of the kindness of your heart. Like, who, who, what type of job is this? I don't know. I don't know. I'm free. A new job. Um, you know, it's pretty chill. You know, it's a lot of cool people. A lot of things happening. As I mentioned before, um, I do work less, but I am making more, making more, which is. It feels really nice, you know, um, because as I was saying, you know, I worked a lot, a lot. At some points, like 60 hours a week, pushing 70. It, I was, I was, I was grinding, and you know, I was really just doing that to like try to like stay afloat. I will say it has made doing content a little bit harder because I just don't have as much time. You guys probably have noticed that I've met, I missed a couple uploads here and there. You know, I'm trying my best to get back on schedule. Um, you honestly, it really okay. I'm not gonna blame it on the work because it does come a little bit down to my laziness. Because for a little bit, I was no, you got my PC behind me. I was playing hella games, watching movies, just doing dumb stuff when I should have been editing or doing making a video. So that's really on me, you know. So I'm not gonna blame the job entirely. I'm gonna try to work around it, try to get a bit better at it. Being unemployed in Miami is not the move, bro. It was days where I literally had to go to sleep just hungry as fuck because. You know, either I spend a little bit of money here, but won't have money for rent. Fuck, man, I just ran out of, you know, detergent or something. Ah, but if I buy detergent, you know, I'm not gonna have enough for food. And if I don't have enough for food, I'm not gonna be able to eat. You know, it was really, I'm, I was battling demons, but you know, I got through it. But I cannot stress you guys enough. No, it's not the move. You know, if you're moving out here, I will say, definitely, definitely try to have a job or at least make sure you have a lot of money saved up. So when you do get out here, you have enough time to, you know, look for a job because the job market in Miami, um, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. Mainly because there's so many people here that will just take any job. So it's kind of tough getting your foot out there. So luckily I was able to get a job pretty fast because I couldn't imagine if I didn't get hired, I'll be out, I'll be out down the street, you know, because your rent would have not gotten paid. I will tell you that like, if I didn't get, bro, like imagine. Guys, imagine that. Imagine. Oh my God, bro, what just happened?
Yo, I was recording and my camera literally just like shut off and said error 60. That was a problem recording. And I thought I lost all of that footage. I was so scared, but I think we're good. I checked my SD card and the footage is there. So hopefully when I get to editing, it's not going to say this footage is corrupted because if that happens, Sony, not Sony, I'm sorry, not Sony, Canon, we're going to have to have a problem. We're going to have to fight. At this point, I don't even remember what I was saying. You know, I got to go outside. It's just mandatory. I mean, just look how beautiful Miami is. I have to come outside. Ah. Okay, on a serious note, definitely make sure you guys have a job, you know, come down here because I don't want you to end up in the same situation that I was in. When I first moved out here, things were not easy. You know, you guys see the channel now, you see, you know, the nice apartment. I got a nice view now, which is amazing. Thank God, you know, I'm so happy I'm here, but it wasn't like this the whole time. Of course, first moving out, there was a lot of things that I had to learn. A lot of things can be avoided, you know, so, you know, I, just, I really use the channel to, of course, document my life so I can look back and see what I've been through and, you know, just go back and see my memories. But also, you know, it's a guide to see how to do this adulting thing because a lot of people don't show the true side of, you know, moving out and, you know, doing your own thing. They really just show the, you know, end product or the best moments. But, you know, I try to show everything. I try to show the ups, the downs, the really downs. There was a time where I had a lot of self-doubt, you know. I've learned to let a lot of that go and just enjoy life for what it is. Because when you really think about it, when you really just break it down, we're all here just living. You know, we only got one life to live. On this marble globe we call Earth, I don't even know how we got here, you know, nothing really makes sense. I'm really still just trying to figure it all out, but, you know, you only got one life to live. So I'm just trying to live it to the fullest. You know, why stop myself from experiencing the things that I truly want? If anybody's watching, like really take that in. Like why would you stop your own self-enjoyment for somebody else when we're all gonna just eventually, and it's morbid, I get it, but we're gonna die, you know? Some That person that you're like, oh shit, what are they gonna think? In five years, probably will never see you again. You know, a lot of guys from my high school, I don't see, I haven't seen. It's been what, it's 2024, four years? I graduated in 2020, like, I haven't seen them in four years, any of them, because I moved here. And a lot of guys from where I'm from don't tend to get out. You know, they kind of would rather keep doing the same thing and just, you know, follow in the footsteps, which is fine. You know, and a lot of people don't have aspirations to do the things that I did, because as you saw, it's not easy. It's not a fun experience, it's not, you know, oh, we're gonna move out and we're gonna just boom, boom, boom. No, it's gonna, we're, we're gonna move out, we're gonna go broke, and then we're gonna get some money, and we're gonna go broke again, and then get even broker, and then figure it all out from there. So, you know, it's not an easy journey. Live your life to the fucking fullest. You know, you only got one life. I'm gonna keep saying it. Fun fact about Ty, I have never flew in a plane. I've never been in a plane. Actually, I lied. I think I was, when my mom said I was once, when I was super young, though, I was like six. I don't remember that. So, for me, in my experience, I've never been in a plane. You think I'm gonna die without being in a plane and traveling this world? Like, no, I, I wanna see it all. I wanna see the world for what it is. Like, bro, like, we only get to see this one time. This, one time. I wanna experience it all. So, at this point, yes, I'm making more money, but I'm still in that transitional phase where I just got the job, and if anybody, you know, has moved out or, you know, pays bills or whatever, you would know whenever you're like, you don't have any money for some time, it takes a little bit of time to like catch back up on bills because I have credit, you know, I have, I went to college for a little bit, dropped out, so I have a little bit of student loans. So like those payments still go on even when I don't have a job. So right now I'm still trying to catch up the payments. So um, I don't know like how long it's going to take. Hopefully in the next, hopefully by the time it's come out because why am I talking like you guys care? But I think it's going to come out in like a week or two. So hopefully by the time this comes out, I'm doing like a bit better in money, but hopefully in like a month from now, you know, I have my money, like bills are paid, credit cards back on, you know, on time payments, and I'm chilling, my credit scores are going back up. You know, then I will be completely relaxed. My old job, I used to get literal anxiety because I had to go to work the next day. Like it was so bad because and it's not, it's really not even the job. It's really just the management, like the management made it just unbearable to work. Like, you ever had that happen? Anybody ever work a job where the job is so chill, like the job could be so good, but it's just that one or two managers that just ruin it, for, like, for everybody. Like, bro, we're all, like, when the managers are not there, you just got to use you and, you know, your coworkers, and, like, you're just chilling. It's good, it's, it's a chill job, you know, you're not too stressed. Still, like, still annoying, but, like, you're not, you're, you're good. 
But the second the manager comes in, you're just like, bro, like, it's, come on. Like, why are we taking, why are we acting like we're working for the president, bro? Like, relax. We're not going to get shit. Like, relax. I get it. It's one, it's one crumb on the floor. I get it. But relax. For my new job, I usually ride my, I don't know if you can see it, but it's over there. My one wheel. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it's fun as hell to do it because I love riding my one wheel. If you guys haven't seen my video, go watch it. I love riding the Pine X or whatever. I forgot what the title is, it, but you can find it. But I love riding my one wheel. It's the funnest thing ever, you know. I feel free. I feel like I can tra traver traverse the entire city. Miami has a little bit of a problem. The weather is very inconsistent here. So a couple days ago, I think like three days ago for my time, I was coming back home and right before I like clocked out, it was a clear day. Like the entire shift, pretty clear day. Like it was pretty much like this. Like it was pretty, you can't see it, but you remember it was pretty chill. It was a clear, it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful day. But by the time I was leaving, all hell broke loose. So I was coming home and I don't like literally out of nowhere, a tropical storm just hit all of Miami all at once, just unpredictable. And I got caught in it. And I got a little video and you know, it's just funny. Just things like this just happen. Like I'm just trying to get home and I'm getting soaked. I'm taking showers. It is act like this is uncalled for. Bro, it's so bad. My one wheel can't even go any faster. Okay, literally the entirety of Miami is flooding. This looks, why does this look like, look like the beach? I am not at the beach right now. What the heck? Yo, it has currents. It is, that is the main road. Look at that. Look. The car is underwater. That is not okay. The entire sky was just gray. There was no blue to be seen. And I had like, that, and that just came out of nowhere. So the weather here is just very inconsistent. That's one of the things that I don't talk about a lot on this channel. The weather, well, I guess just during the season. Most of the time it's pretty clear. But I guess it's still hurricane season. I thought it was over by now. I don't even know when hurricane... Hey, Siri, when is the hurricane season over? The Atlantic hurricane season runs from June 1st to November 30th. November? The Eastern Pacific hurricane season runs from May 15th oh, to November 30th. I'm going to Eastern... This answer is from NOAA.gov. Uh, I'm... For more, say open this on iPhone. Thank you, Siri. Why didn't she say thank you back? Or you welcome? Why didn't she say you welcome back? Okay. So I'm on the Eastern coast. I don't even know like when it's supposed to end. I'm gonna just assume it ends in like a month. Um, but I guess for right now, um, you know, the weather can just flip on a dime and just turn into all hell broke loose. You guys can probably tell I'm a lot more just happier mentally. You know, I felt like before I was very stressed on the channel, but now I feel more relaxed. Like I've just been, in my own element. I haven't really been caring about views and trying to blow up. Like for the longest I've been trying to blow up and whatever, but you know, recently I've really just been making videos like this. Like I'm not trying to blow up. Like I don't even know how I would even attempt to blow up. I like, what kind of video would I make? I would have to go outside butt naked and go, I don't know, streak in front of the homeless. I don't, I don't know what I would do, but you know, for right now, I just enjoy making videos just about me, updating my life. And for some reason, a couple of you guys out there in this big, huge, expensive, crazy, chaotic world, fuck with me. So I just want to say thank you to you guys that are here with me from the beginning. But, you know, hey, this is what I enjoy doing. Hopefully you guys enjoy it too. If you did, if you did, I don't say this a lot because I think it's so cliche. But if you did like it, make sure to subscribe and also like the video. Um, it helps me out in the algorithm. I think that's what I'm supposed to say. You know, you know. But I do want you guys to comment um, your crazy, like, work stories because I know a lot of I know, I know, like, most people that have worked any job have stories because, I don't for some reason, every job is just, shit just happens. Like, one guy's crazy, this guy stole the fucking register, like, what? Like, that actually happened to me. Think about it. I might make that story time. Okay, quick side note. There, I, used to work, I used to work at Sonic when I was, like, 16, and... When I first got there, the managers that hired me, those exact same managers, for some reason, stole the register, no, the safe. For some reason, stole the money safe. The safe. Like, the fucking money safe. You don't steal, that's 
GTA 5 one on one. You don't steal the money. Save you're getting five stars. Like you're not getting out of that. So they did that. Got caught the, immediately, and because the camera was lit. But like, imagine like this is the money safe, and then this is the camera pointing on the money safe. Yeah, that's what they attempted, and they they got caught. Like without even a mask. Like I get it wasn't 2020 yet, and like you know, mask wasn't a thing. But at least. You know, ski up. I don't even, I don't know. But if you guys enjoyed the video, wait a minute. I already did the outro. See, this is why I hate, this is why I'm terribly doing outros because I already did what? Well, good. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. To all you little small few out there in this big, huge world that I already said, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, one last thing. I'm so sorry. I'm a yapper. This is why I do YouTube because I like a little yap. I'm sorry. One more thing. One last thing. By the time you're watching this, I am for sure monetized, which is, first off, round of applause. Keep it going. Yes. So, yes, I am monetized. Let me show you guys real quick, just real quick. I, I, I promise you, it won't take you, it won't take too much of your time, I promise. So, if I go to my YouTube analytics and I go to my earn here, um, basically, it shows your eligibility. And as you can see, I already got the 1,000 subscribers that you need. You know, I got 19. 24 thank you so much thank you so much peace um but as you can see you also need um the public watch hours and you need four thousand which is i gotta say is not easy whatsoever like bro the public watch hours got a lot of people reap on like how can i get subs how can i get like subscribers how can i grow none of that really it matters but eventually, when you get good at your craft, that just tends to happen over time. You know, I don't really think about trying to get another subscriber. But you cannot get monetized, even if you have, you know, over, you, I could have 10,000 subscribers. But until I get to 4,000, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, I can't get monetized. But as you can see, I'm at 3,942. Um, and it goes up like 20 to 30 every day. So in two days, this would be a 4K. And I'll be monetized. You can't see me. Okay, I'm just gonna end the video because it's getting pretty dark and I gotta bring the camera gain up way too much and you, it looks terrible. So I'm gonna go now, but thank you guys for watching. I know I did the outro, this is my third time doing it. I'm gonna do it again, fuck you. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below your craziest, most chaotic, most insane work stories ever because I know you got them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you so much. Peace, love, fives out to all of you. Thanks for watching, love you. Peace.